everybody. It was like such an impressive um, round of finalists. Um, I know that as a member of the steering committee and after many months of planning, we're all excited to be here today. Um, as you just heard, all of the teams and their respective solutions are incredibly impressive, uh, which is part of the reason the Innovate for Impact Design Challenge has been such a passion project for Siemens um, and all, the, all of those who've been involved with it from, from its inception. We've all enjoyed watching this initiative grow from kind of a germ of an idea to a worldwide event um, and to the conclusion of it here today. Um, I'm honored to present our Zero Hunger winner. To pick just one was a painstaking decision for the judges. All of these designs really shined um, in terms of their real life applications and ease of adoptability, which of course is the crucial element in bringing solutions to communities in need. Um, the winning team successfully met the challenge of designing a post-harvest off-grid preservation solution. They set out to mitigate the loss farmers face as a result of poor post-harvesting handling and storage techniques. This team's unique approach to cold storage, which utilized wall panels made of locally available materials, creates an affordable, easy to maintain, and off-grid compatible solution. I am so proud to present the Zero Hunger Design Award to Ecolife Foods, which created the Ecolife Cold Room. Congratulations to Kyle Geyser, Ian Williams, and Hadesha Ntambi, representing the U.S. and Uganda. Thank you, Camille. And let's all give them a round of virtual applause. <laughs> Uh, I would like to invite Kyle to our virtual stage to say a few words. All right, let me uh, walk on up. Just give me a second here. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, this is truly an honor. Uh, and, and speaking on behalf of uh, Ian and uh, Hadija, uh, and in fact, Hadija, even uh, being the co-founder of, uh, of Ecolife Foods, is also representing a whole swath of of other team members that are on the ground in Uganda and farmers. Uh, and so um, just speaking on behalf of all of us, uh, we are extremely excited uh, and honored. Um, in fact, I don't have anything really prepared, so I'm speaking a little bit off the cuff here. Um, but I think uh, I can speak for all of us to say that um, we are extremely excited because um, what we really are passionate about is the fact that um, this technology is co-researched and co-developed uh, and then built in country. And uh, that's, that's the reason why we joined this challenge. That's the reason why we're doing what we're doing. Um, uh, as was mentioned, I think earlier before uh, by Barbara that uh, nowadays research uh, can take place uh, anywhere, really. And, uh, and, and that's one of the things that we are, are making a, a very large effort to do. Uh, we have uh, farmers who are there on the ground who are uh, helping us test different materials um, who are doing uh, this research and then we're also partnering with universities too. Um, so we kind of span that that entire gamut. Uh, so um, uh, that's that's what I have to say. Uh, we have a, a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, we're really excited um, uh, that this will propel a lot of uh, those research needs uh, to take our prototype um, uh, uh, into uh, into the next stage. Thank you very much. <laughs>